All right, how's it going guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you an AFK room farming macro slash just keybinds, I guess. I don't know how to put it. I, it is in a macro software, but it is a combination of keybinds over, I think it's 15 to 20 seconds per iteration. So it's pretty quick. You have to get the timings right. So we're gonna to have to go through some settings here to make sure everything lines up. So first we're going to go and make sure our graphic settings are on the lowest possible. We want them to be as low as they can go so then we get the quickest load times to make sure nothing differs. Depending on the PC you have, if the specs are old or if you have a high end, you know, you'll load in quicker and that'll just waste some time. So you can change some of the variables there but it's going to be a little iffy. So you know, do that at your own discretion. For the keybinds, we're just going to set up some custom ones to go with it. You can change the keybinds in the notepad once you get it all set up. That'll be custom, but to make it easy, I have the ones auto set up to be L, K, oh my bad, that's I, K, J, L, and P. Once you have those set up, you should be good to go with the code I have. And then for the skills, we'll use Q, E, and R. Like I said, these are the ones that I have set up. If you set up your own custom ones, you'll just have to change these around. Now for the macro, we're gonna go on to Opera and get ourselves this auto hotkey right here. It's at autohotkey.com. I'll have a link down in the description. We're just gonna download the 2.0 version, get that all set up. It should just go straight to your desktop. It should look something like this. Once you have that, you can go ahead, double click it hit run. It should launch this and just hit install. Once it's done there, it should just automatically open up. And as you can see, we have it here. From there, we're going to go into new script and go in here, name it whatever you want. I just named mine ha ha ha. Hit create. Should open up this window. I have a couple already pre-made. Going to hit right click on it hit edit script then we're gonna open up the notepad here zoom out and just copy and paste what I have down in the description right into this area should look something like this again these are gonna be different keybinds depending if you set them up differently to make it quick and easy I do just suggest using my keybinds you can reset them to default by Hitting R, I believe, is on the keyboard, and then hit yes to confirm it. So that'll make it really quick and easy whenever you want to go back to playing. But once you have that copied and pasted in, just hit file, save, and then exit out of it. Once you're exited out, you can just go ahead and drag that file onto your desktop. I have a couple of them here. Reopen, actually. Double click on the file, open it up. It should be named in the bottom right with this little H. Just double check to make sure it's there. Relaunch your Elden Ring. All right, so now all you're gonna do is hit F3 on your keyboard and it should launch the code. Now there is some small hiccups with the code. After about 10 hours, your game starts to deteriorate. <laughs> it starts looking like hell on earth, I'm not gonna lie. Just make sure to restart your game every night before you go to work and then just restart the code and everything should run smoothly. I'd say about eight to 10 hours is when it usually crashes or has some kind of issue. So if it does crash, you do not have to worry though. Your room should be right in front of you. You do not die more than one time because after you die, it has to confirm to respawn and it does not hit any keys that can confirm that. So you're safe. So if you guys like this video, just leave a like, and if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section, and I'll answer them. Thank you.